In this video, I'm going to show you the Quarkus CLI command line interface and how to install it step by step. So let's see what is Quarkus CLI, how to install it and why the help options is so important. Quarkus CLI is a tool that helps you with Quarkus, like starting a new projects, adding extensions and building and running your projects. It's like an assistant for all the things that you can do with Quarkus. Pretty cool, right? All the information about the Quarkus CLI, you can find it inside the official documentation. Before you dive into documentation, you need to ensure to select the correct Quarkus version you want to use. Let's select the latest version, Quarkus 3. The Quarkus CLI can be installed on your system in various ways, including JBang, Homebrew, SDKMan, and Scoop. Choose the one you prefer. In this tutorial, let's choose SDKMan. First, you need to install SDKMan by referring to the official documentation. Follow all the steps. Great, SDKMA is now installed on the system. Before installing Quarkus CLI, you need to check the Java is installed on your system. If not, you can quickly install it with SDKMAN. Check the official website, you can see plenty of JDK available. And let's pick the OpenJDK. Excellent. Now you are ready to install the Quarkus CLI. In the terminal, type SDK install Quarkus. Done. To verify it, just type Quarkus version in the terminal. This will show the installed Quarkus CLI version. With the command SDK upgrade Quarkus, you can also check if there is a newer version available. As of now, the Quarkus version is up to date. So you have this new tool, right? But how do you use it? Like many traditional CLIs, with Quarkus, you can use the help option to display all the helpful information, showing all available commands. When you type Quarkus with the help, in your screen, you will see a lot of things, commands, options, and all the things that you can do with the Quarkus CLI. It's that simple. So here, the explanation. You will start with the base command Quarkus, followed by the specific subcommands, such as create, app, CLI, or extension to generate a Quarkus project, a Quarkus command line project, or even a Quarkus extension. With this, you have the ability to build the project, run it, or run in development mode for the live coding with the dev command. Additionally, there is also the test command, which lets you to run the project in continuous testing mode. For more detail on specific commands, just add the help option after them, like for example, Quarkus create help. The Quarkus CLI is really a powerful tool. Not only can you create a Quarkus application, but you can also build, push, and deploy the container image based on your project. You are free to choose the tool you wish to use for creating the container image, for example, Docker, Buildpack, Jeep, or OpenShift. 
Plus, you can decide where to deploy it, be it on Kubernetes, OpenShift, Kind, Minikube, and more. In the description of this video, I will put all the resources you can use. Just to recap, today you learn about the Quarkus CLI, install it using SDKMan, and discovered the helpful help option. In the next video, you will see the Quarkus CLI to do even more fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be updated about the video that I will upload. See you in the next video. Bye.